What's going on guys, it's me Bunch 21 and in today's video guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to obtain diamonds camo for 5 of the SMGs in Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Before I begin with today's video, I just want to clarify a few things, is that there are, I'm going to repeat myself, there are only 5 SMGs you will need to complete, these are in the primary class of your credit class slots, you mainly, and I really do recommend doing the first set of challenges, which is pretty much all the exact same ones, which is the first 9 ones, which I will talk about in today's video, but before I begin off today's video guys, if you got anything during the struggle of this video, if I find anything that you don't understand or anything, just leave a comment below and I'll help you and I'll give you some additional support if you guys are a bit confused on that as well. But before we go over, we we'll clarify the um, five especially the um, five weapons you will need to obtain first. And I'm gonna actually do something a bit different and tell you when you can unlock these weapons. So the first weapon we'll be talking about is the MX9. You get this at the moment of level five, which is pretty much you don't need to level up too much, you just gotta get to level five. The KSG unlock level first. The Spitfire level 20A, the Corite level 40, and the final one, the Sorg M, the 9MM, which is at level 52. And those are the SMGs you unlock at those levels as well. Just give you guys a heads up as well of them, how to attain them as well. And also, I'm going to be teaching you what I personally did, the challenges and examples of how to do them, pro tips, what to use, and that sort of stuff. Before I begin off, I better clarify something very quickly, and it is that there are two perks. And I mean, there are two perks I 100% absolutely recommend putting on and the perks are lightweight and gun ho these are for perk 2 now before we begin off if you don't know what each one does i will have some pictures or screenshots right now but pretty much um light means you can run faster and gun ho means you quickly um after sprinting you look your gun points forwards faster which is about 33 percent faster it's not like you're always going to make your gun point faster i don't know why they haven't put that as a perk because really though that usually have six each of the perk slots like for the blues six but there's four blues five greens and four reds and there are five green ones and these are the two I absolutely recommend as well plus using an SMG that will require about four of your slots as well plus with the wild card as well you need some additional um perk as well for the help of that but before well, let's continue and talk about the camo challenges so, so first of all each of the first SMGs and these are all the same as well afterwards for the technical the first set of camo challenges and this is to get 100 headshots with all of the SMGs I 100% recommend playing hardcore any of the game modes but the ones I do recommend are team deathmatch kill confirm domination or free for all I personally did mine in free for all kill confirm and a slight bit of team DM and domination mainly because um, I'm trying I like to do a bit of fun as well, have some fun as well. I mainly did 3 or 4 kill confirm because I felt like those were more easier for me. And also with the kill confirm ones is that um, these SMGs are garbage at long range unless the opponent is weak, unless you get a cheeky headshot because these will do one shot in the head no matter how far you are, which is fantastic though. But the recoil though of most of these SMGs are quite bad as well. For the example of the core die, that weapon can literally have a high hitbox range as well and the recoil can be quite bad and irritating that as well. But that's one thing I do recommend as well is that many in kill confirm is that that I'll usually see a teammate's tag and sometimes I'll leave it out or not but then I also um take a look around just have a good listen out listen out for opponents and quickly pop that head up shot or swan or also since I'm in hardcore I prepare myself for the headshot I aim for the head pit I don't aim at the body I usually aim around the head bit as well if I can't get the headshot then I might as well go for a chest shot as well so that's what I recommend doing as well and then once and this is a recommendation I recommend doing these headshot challenges on all five of the SMGs because I feel like these are way harder than the blood first these in my opinion as well which we'll get onto in a minute but yeah once you complete the 100 headshots the next set of camos you've got other technical ones and the first one you it's called royal rink and this is different you need to get 10 revenge mails so pretty much you go kill an enemy who killed you for example though if i'm killing someone and his name's called dude rock and roll he kills me and then i find dude rock and roll again i kill him with that smg i'm equipped with with that camo challenge of i would get a revenge medal and he won't pop on the top of your middle screen as well just to show you that you got that revenge medal as well so yeah that you can pretty much do this while you're doing um, all the other challenges as well and these are the other ones we're going to say as well one of them is pretty much basic forward mother of pearl which you need to get 50 kills with no attachments at all i highly recommend putting a ton of perks on uh, and yeah that's what i really do recommend though just put a ton of perks on as well and also put some soundproof um quality just to hear those enemies footsteps are so louder and the next one's called um purple hex it is to obtain 50 kills with one sight 
and attachments. At least five attachments, because that's what it says. So pretty much, though, you need to have um, all of the wild cards for this. And the thing about this is that you will need to make sure that you have put, and I mean, you, you have reached level 32, because that's where you're able to put all the attachments on. And I do recommend this as well, is that if you do get, if you get the 100 headshot challenges and you're just at your level 50, you've done the 100 headshot challenges, I recommend doing the attachments once quickly before, um, you prestigious whatever you're going to, and also a swell is that yeah, you might be doing the revenge ones as well, which is quite cool. And the next one you need to do is called Penthouse, which is just pretty much five double kills. This one's not that hard to do if you're applying team their match call kill confirm or domination because we're going to mostly feed, see enemy teammates cut under cut close to careful swell so that's something as well i do recommend and the final camo is called spectra and that is get five blood first this, this is the most painfulest one in my opinion while i was trying to do the camo challenges as well and i definitely feel like oh that it was the most hardest one i had to do as well so yeah it was a bit of an irritating one as well so i'm glad though i've done it though i was happy with it and this this is the problem why i have a delay in this video is because i really had a tough time to kind of get these double I mean the blood first he kills as well so that's something that's really irritating me about that but yeah that's all in stuff there and there you go guys that is my postal tips the SMGs um really though I do what I've said already really though, I absolutely 100% recommend putting those two perks on because they're absolutely gods when you use them as well and also I, I would recommend also using the gear known as um Asco to get sensor but really though you can use whatever you want I don't really have a perk class for it but definitely but I don't have a really credit class but the two perks I've said definitely use them which is going to cost free plus Plus your SMG would be a fourth one, so you've pretty much got six spare class slots as well. But those are my personal opinions, about it. and I have to be honest with you, my favourite SMGs is probably the GKS and the Cold Dykes. I felt like those two were really good efficient weapons as well. And it's that if you max out the Cold Dike, you can have, you can activate the Operating Mold where um, pretty much it does. You don't need to reload that weapon, but it will overheat as well if you um, use too much of its ammo. So that you shoot 47.5, I think it is, it will overheat and it has to charge. So yeah, that's something as well why I like it as well. But guys, I hope this SMG tutorial helped you to get Diamond SMGs. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share your friends. Or subscribe to the channel when notifications are on to see my latest videos up. And also subscribe to my other channel in the list romance to see my latest videos on that channel as well and also guys if this really really did help you as well there are some other videos down below of me doing some diamond camos including the rocket launcher as well which i don't know why that really does count as a diamond it just goes gold but yeah <coughs> yo, anyway i've just pretty much give you a heads up on that as well but guys i'd like to say thank you very much for today's video thank you for all for the very support of this um smg diamond tutorials and i'll see you all in the next one happens there everyone take care and goodbye